Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another exciting episode of Chris Boy's Grandpa Games. So last time around, we were on Duxon. And we finished up all the quests for Mandalore, and now we are on Isis doing the bullshit here. We gotta go talk to some doctor that's a friend of Please Mandalore's. Please tell me you're an off-worlder. You came from the spaceport, right? Yeah, you sound so desperate. But this is good news. You have a starport visa, right? I can only sell my best weapons if you have that. These soldiers ensure that I don't forget these formalities. Uh. Watch it, Keg. The captain already has enough complaints about you. No need to be alarmed, my foreign friend. Pay the soldier no heed. Pretend he isn't here. I'd like to see your stock. Ooh, life support packs. Gimme, gimme. Alright, armor. Don't care. Crystal. Uh, no good weapon. I really should have bought that Mandalorian uh, assault rifle in the last episode. Yeah, buy that. Why not? There you go, buddy. There must come a time when the queen bows to the will of the people. The Republic has brought nothing but war and death. In our 50 years of flying their colors, we have had more war than the past millennia. Back General Vaclu in his effort to make her see reason. We do not need the Republic. They need our resources, our world, and our blood. For all that we have given, now we get nothing. The Man, Republic is weak and falling apart. So many times it's Jedi so many whose fallen brethren have brought such misery to us have disbanded. Let's be the first world to take our future into our hands. Are you with me? Uh, me? <laughs> yes, you. It is up to each and every one of us to turn the tide, to take control of our future. Uh, surely the Republic must do something for you in return. No, they take from us. They are like Minox, sucking energy and resources from so many worlds. They bleed us for their bureaucracy and their excesses. Oh boy, That's enough, I see Parmar. their strides. If you keep this up, you're going to spend time in detention. You're coming awfully close to treason. You can't silence me forever, soldier. But I'll keep my peace. For now. <laughs> Time for you guys to die. Unnecessary observation. Targets acquired. Oh god. They say the same thing every time. Force barrier. Now would be a great time for energy resistance, Kraya. And then. <laughs> <laughs> Concussion, poison, plasma. What is it? Yeah, I think that's good. Shit. 
should be able to uh, reactivate HK next time. <sighs> Cutscene. Okay, okay, okay. Cut. Yeah, I'm really wants me to get involved. He really wants you to get involved in this bullshit. Oh boy, you have triplets. Bad's out of town. This is Dagon Gent's place. He's not the best doctor you'll ever meet, but he's well connected in this city. Doesn't look like he's here right now, though. You looking for Dagon? You're not gonna find him here. Uh, where is he? The soldier captain was murdered at the cantina real good. They got some suspects at the tower. From what I hear, Dagon Gent is one of them. Mandor, could Dagon have done this? He's certainly capable of it, and probably stupid enough to get caught. But we need him, suspicion of murder or not. It's the turret tower on the other side of the market. Captain Riken is the man to talk to. Thanks. If you talk to him, tell him I got his 20 credits. All right, back to the market. Oh boy, more mercenaries. More mercenaries. We saw Mogo Dossi Sheba Dente School in Mostovi Gitelach, Pitai Shon, Granda Soju. The Kome just mark Miki Baranye Dossos. And what if I am? Yatuka, who one Rika, Chotin, Wanim, Aurata Wakata. Cavadumpa, mo wendido ciò che rembi norta cugno. Eh. 
Yes. <laughs> something something Ooh. that's good I'll wear it even if it looks a little goofy it's not the worst head gear in the game 20% immunity versus dark side oh yeah what's a little wisdom general we have found them again have we Tobin or is this a preface to another of your failures Consider the whole field, Tobin. What a dick. Why would a Jedi risk all of this just to come to Isis? The crew of the Ebon Hawk is elusive, General. We were warned about that, but we still underestimated them. But the fools are here, in Isis. The intel on this is certain. I'm ordering men loyal to us to take care of them now. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Hold that order. Have her watched instead. The Jedi may prove a solution to another one of our persistent problems. Level up. Uh, persuade. Let's get that up to 20. Stealth run, no thank you. Ooh, yeah, I'll take that. 10% faster run speed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll get. Ooh, I have two powers. Good. Hell yeah. Ooh, wait. Actually, I could get Stasis Field. Oh yeah, no, no, no. We'll get that instead. That's next. Movement, movement is next. But this is just OP. Oh, I wish I'd had that last time. Ultimate crowd control. I need that crowd control. Welcome to what must be the smelliest place in the universe, Offworlder. How can I assist you? Uh, you have a man by the name of Dagon Ghent in your custody? We certainly do. He and several other people were picked up in connection to a murder. Who got murdered? Captain Sulio. She was in charge of the Starport Checkpoint. A good soldier. Your friend was one of the last people that saw her alive. So far, he's just a suspect. But if he did it? The punishment is death. 
Dagon Ghent is the only person I know with the contacts to help us out. We need to get Dagon out of custody. Uh, how long is Dagon going to be questioned for? Until we either eliminate him as a suspect or find the real killer. Dagon has quite a record with the authorities. The Colonel thinks that murder isn't too far a stretch for someone like him. Uh, how can I eliminate him as a suspect? I know Dagon personally. He's one of the worst doctors I've ever heard of. But I can't see him deliberately killing someone. He was one of the last people seen with Captain Sulio in the cantina. Ask around there. I've heard he's got a good motive for killing him. If you can somehow clear that up and prove it wasn't him, the command will cut him loose. If I say any more, I'll get in trouble. Can I see him? No way. We're under orders to make sure no one sees the murder suspects. Command is taking this very seriously. All right, how we going? Stay out of trouble. All right, butthole is back. I won't remain silent any longer. The Republic has actively attacked us. They attack our spaceships unprovoked. What next? An invasion? Perhaps they seek to conquer us. Will you stand idly by? Will you let them bomb our city? No! If Queen Talia is so removed that she won't do what the people so clearly want, then we must show her with force. That's it, Ponlar. We're taking you in. You've gone too far. Brothers and sisters, let us rise up now and march to the palace. Our will cannot be denied. Don't do this, Ponwar. Innocents will die. Sacrifices are inevitable, but it is the price of change. Soldier, call for reinforcements. You're gonna need them. The time of patience is over. Let's show them our resolve with force. He's, He's right. right! Get your arms! Kill, 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 kill the realists! <laughs> They're arming. We need backup. Kill the men. Can use your kill assistance. the elves. Try Save to the gold them. for our If ourselves. the mob grows, many more will die. Thank you, Offworlder. We may have to hold them off alone until backup arrives. Kill the Royalists! Alright, this is gonna be awesome. Watch this. Best crowd control spell. Didn't actually get that many of them. Like many actually joined him. All right, Cantina. Uh, what do you do? He can open up that starboard visa for me. Uh, okay, okay. Ah, uh, adjusting a starboard visa. Kavadumba Munsuru Kupla Liawa. Bo Bagaragawanda Yaitua. Boom. 
Kawanabota, Yunta Tanga, Kinamatura, Tayaita, Ento Meshmi Paju, Wata. That one. Alright. Now we have to talk to this other douchebag Pazak player. Nice to meet you, sentient. Are you interested in a friendly game at Pazak? No, actually. Foul business, that. Do you know Dagon Gun? She did? Oh no, by the four moons, what a mix up. They got it all wrong. Dagon and Sulio were good friends. It's just when they got a little too much Juma juice, they'd carry on. <laughs> they'd call each other all manner of things. It could get quite hilarious, really. But it was just friendly banter. That night, Celia was in great form. Dagon and I were laughing about okay, some of the choice okay. ones later. Yellow Tooth Dung Dweller. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. It may look strange on the outside, but it was just their habit. Their way of passing time during these dark nights. Listen, if the soldiers think that's a motive, they just didn't do enough digging. That bit of information will help with clearing Dagon. But the Andoran military won't let him off that easy. They're very obstinate. Maybe some of these people will know more about what happened that night. Uh, what happened to the night of the murder? Of stakes from a particularly rewarding. She Great. was quite dead. Blood was everywhere. Great. The next day, they picked up Dagon and several other people in the area. <laughs> Where's the body? Just outside the door by the junk heap. It might be a good idea to look at the crime scene. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> no one. He's probably my best friend on this planet. I'm uh. No. Gotta go up for the droid. Droid. What stain? Pray out for God's sake. What is it? mentioned a droid. This droid was destroyed recently. Some Alright. What a bald guy's on this planet. Not there's anything wrong with that. Welcome back. My deck is still warm. Found. That would be Bohemia's SOD2. Uh, SOD3. Uh, what happened to Who it? Who knows? Sometimes the slum dweller shoot his serving droids for When Dagon and I were waiting. Uh, no, I'm afraid there was quite a crowd grow. Uh, one of the beast riders did it. Thug, thug, name thug. This room is reserved. Huh. That Bith keeps buying droids, and the scavengers keep stealing them or blowing them up. Seems he's finally given up. The waitress is awful, but she's more fun than his droids ever were. Which scavenger got to the droid? I wouldn't tell you even if I knew. I could tell you where you could find the parts, though. Uh, where? That western square has the perfect fence for droid parts. There is a droid vendor called 1B8D. That droid is as dumb as a Gamorrean. He'll buy anything because he's too stupid to do anything else. 1B8D is quite handy. Quite a few of the slum dwellers make a good living salvaging droid parts for him. You might have even bought some. All right. There's a droid outside. We need to go talk to that droid. All right, I think we need to talk to this douche again. No. Need. Nope. No, we need to uh, go talk to the droid and buy the head. 
Bring me the head! Droid. I am 1B AD. You got any heads? Entity Behema unknown. I have many serving droid parts. The market rate for those parts. Boom. Thank you for your. Kiff and the cantina can probably do something with this. We should head back. Uh, invisible wall. Tulio's murder. Uh, the remains of S0D3. Can you get any information from it? Da Upa, Bossa, Curata, Go, Jujutu, Yoki, Hiata, Yam, Kawana, Bota, Yunta. Hello there. What is this? Oh my, she's dead. Mm. <laughs> Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura taya. Welcome back. My deck is still warm. If it'll help Dagon, you got it. There's no way that Dagon could have done it. I saw him coming from his office. That's the opposite direction of the marketplace. We should go talk to Captain Riken and clear all of this up. Yay! Nico, is it? And the Offworlder. What brings the two of you here? Dagon Ghent couldn't have killed Captain Sulio. That's a bold statement. I assume you have some sort of proof. Uh, Nico can't explain it. It's a long story, so bear with me, Captain. The night of the murder, I was playing. That should do it. We still don't know who killed Sulio, but this will greatly assist our investigation. You have been ordered off this investigation, Captain. I hope you can explain yourself. I had nothing to do with this, sir. This citizen found information about Captain Sulio's murder. It's material to the investigation. We've already got our man. Sulio and this Ghent were fighting the night she was murdered. He had ample motive. Oh, did he? They weren't really fighting. The regulars in the cantina can vouch for that. They were probably just having weird sex. Have you read the report? Some of the things Solio called him were vile. Solio yeah, and Dagon clearly they were hated vile, each other. all right. But she wasn't killed until near closing time. It wasn't in the heat of passion. I mean, did you talk to anybody at the bar? Others can confirm that they were good friends. Why, you little... Friends would not carry on in such a manner. It's absolutely true, Major. I was a friend of both of them. They've done this dozens of times. Bahima, the bartender, can confirm it, as well as half a dozen other people. They were an odd pair, but they certainly didn't hate each other. I see. Well, there's still the fact that he was right there at the scene of the crime. Uh... So were other people. Some salvagers were stripping the serving droid within a minute or two. So what? What matters is who was there first. An eyewitness said he came from his office almost immediately. The only thing that matters to me is that he was within blaster range when Sulio was killed. Yeah. And he did not have an that alibi. That guy's face is so weird. So many bald guys on this planet. It's a planet of bald men. Maybe I should move there. He came from his office, but a recording of the murder shows that the shot came from the opposite direction. You have a recording? And I'm sure you're just misinterpreting it. I've seen it myself, Major. Nico isn't the only one that spotted Dagon coming from his office. It really can't be Dagon Ghent. The real killer is still loose. Very well, Captain. Set Ghent free, then. But if later it turns out that he did do it, it's gonna be on your head. The men will be working on getting Dagon Ghent out right away. <laughs> the Major sure isn't happy. You're quite a team. Together, you got the Major to back down. That's no small feat. 
It seemed that the Major was particularly unwilling to believe that Dagon's innocent. The investigation has been handled at the highest levels. I've heard there's been some concern about that. With Dagon free, I don't know if the investigation team will find another suspect. They haven't been as diligent as other investigators. Uh, can I talk to the doctor? If you head over to Dagon Gent's office, some men will bring him there shortly. Thanks for clearing this whole thing cool. up. I could tell the justice wasn't being served, but we all have our orders. We really need to patrol that sector better. Thanks for getting me out of there. As detention cells go, it had definite class, but I prefer being out of my own all the same. I owe you and Mandalore one. Are you locked up? Uh, wait. This place is a mess. It must have been weird. Or how do you know Mandalore, actually? We go way back. Way before he became Mandalore. In my experience, Mandalorians always know about the doctors around. Mm. For some strange reason, they keep getting into scrapes. You want to know more? Ask him yourself. Mandalore said you might be able to help me out. I need to get in touch with someone in the palace. Not many people can help you out with that. There have been several assassination attempts on the Queen Talia. That place is locked tighter than a hut's vault. I know a few people, though. Who do you need to get in touch with? A Jedi Master. A Jedi Master, you say? Now that is interesting. It's quite a bounty in Jedi these days. Not that I'm looking to collect, but if there's a Master there, I think I know who it is. Who do you think it is? I'm not certain, otherwise I tell you. But the man I'm thinking about is smart, likes to stay in the shadows, and is cryptic as hell. If he isn't a Jedi Master, he should become one. <laughs> There's a slight problem with that. I know you don't want to hear that since you went through all the effort of springing me out. The thing is, scavengers have already looted most of my stuff. Most of it's garbage anyway, so I don't care too much. But I did have a couple of encrypted holodisks that they nabbed. So here's the punchline. I need those disks because they have some contact information on them. The people I know you don't just walk up and chat with. There's a procedure. And that holodisk has the procedure. Another fetch quest. But Kel's gang pretty much owns this street. From what I hear, she's the one who cleaned me out. She's in the local cantina most days. She's tough as Drexel leather and more dangerous than an angry Wookiee. If you take Mandalore with you, though, you should be just fine. Just get me the encrypted all of this. After that, if there is a Jedi Master in the palace, I'll get you a meeting with him. Oh, wow, well, I got my first lightsaber from him. The short one. Weird. Huh. Funny. It's like even the game knows that I should have taken Beodor with me. Alright. Have you found the inc No. I didn't talk to you. I was gonna loot your office more. Oh, but there's a corpse there. <laughs> Some looting job they did. They left 40 credits. starboard visa to that woman this is my last opportunity to otherwise uh she just goes away well i love how captain reikian is uh patrolling this area now that's funny we really need to patrol the sector better he's out doing it like a man Captain, you're back. Please tell- There you go. Thank the Four Moons for your kindness, Offworlder. I only wish I had some way to thank you. But my children and I will never forget your kindness. Hurry, children. We get to go on a spaceship. Thanks to the Captain. We get to go into space. Yay. 
Put set points. All right. I love if I can just open carry a lightsaber right past those guys and no one cares. What do you want here, Offworlder? The room is taken. The whole cantina is taken. You should leave. You got something that belongs to Dagon Gant. I want to get it back. You? And just how do you intend to do that? Uh, some credits, maybe? The Offworlder wants to make a donation. Kill her and take everything. Wow. <laughs> Good, good. Get her this time. Yeah. Oh, you fuck now. Oh. Yeah, now you're the encrypted yeah I got it great go in there with these I'll check my contacts at the palace I should be able to get a meeting with your Jedi master shortly you got anything you need to take care of in the quarter you best do it now you're dealing with serious politics by contacting him if things go bad during a meeting you may not be welcome in Isis anymore perhaps never just let me know if you want to go through with this yeah do it now right now. Yeah, yeah, I'll get on it. Just grab a cot and rest a bit. Once I get a meeting time, I'll let you know. Is this meeting a trap? I can't afford to lose you, especially given recent events. Anything could be a trap. Baklu is no fool. But if the message is true... Is this necessary? I can guarantee your safety in the palace, but outside these walls, the General has many men that would do anything for him. Nothing in life is certain, Your Majesty. But I feel something. There is a disruption in the Force. I must investigate this. Very well. But please, be cautious. Aren't I always? <laughs> That's what I was afraid you'd say. These two are definitely fucking. Well, the meeting is on. Head straight to the cantina. You guys should be in there. And uh, no offense, but I hope I never see you again. Yeah. 
You must have gone through a lot to arrange this meeting. The palace is a full battle readiness. Smuggling in a message is no small task. I have my ways, Master Kavar. Kavar, the famed Jedi Guardian. The Mandalorians counted on the fact it would be you, not Revan, who would lead the Jedi against us during the Mandalorian Wars. I wonder how we'd have fared against you. I thought you were killed fighting Malak during the Jedi Civil War. It seems my former student keeps curious company. Strange times lead to strange alliances, though. I have my ways as well. Why are you here? I imagine that you hold little love for any on the Jedi Council anymore. Even an old friend. I didn't expect that you would turn on me too, Kavar. You have to understand that it was a time of great uncertainty. We just learned that Darth Revan was back with an armada. Every Jedi that went with him was lost, corrupted, and as dark as their master. And then there was you. Many thought you were a spy, but there's more to it than that. And I think you deserve an expert. Am I interrupting? In orbit, I thought for sure that the Ebon Hawk was mine. I was certain, only to see you slip through my fingers during a battle. Imagine my delight to discover you were on Isis. Quite careless, if you ask me. Get them, men, and watch your aim. Civilian casualties cause a mess of paperwork. I must return to the palace. I'll get word to you when I'm able. Run! What? What have you done to my men? Blast! Men, take care of her! I won't let Kavar escape! For the sake of subtlety, I suggest we avoid using grenades and any other weapons that may injure civilians in this battle. Uh, yeah, of course, that goes without saying. <laughs> I like how half the patrons are cowering and the other half are like, uh, oh, what's happening? You know, we're just sitting here having a drink. Drinking my drink, nothing's happening. Gotta get out of here. Oh, 
What? What's happening in the West Square? It sounded like battle. Command's ordered comm blackout. Do you know what's going on? Vacuum soldiers have been attacking me! What? Why? That makes no sense. Command hasn't issued any alerts. Are you sure it wasn't some of those Beast Rider slags? They've been getting bolder recently. You, you must be mistaken. Soldiers just don't attack civilians without orders. If it weren't for the comm blackout, I'd check with Command. Just head to the safety of the Merchant Square, citizen. We'll send a patrol to investigate as soon as we can contact our HQ. Not all the military is after us. Still, Vaklu can throw a whole army at us. I think we've outworn our welcome over here. We should head over to the spaceport before General Vaklu is... <laughs> You know what to do. Four clone brothers. This is weird. They couldn't give these guys different faces. Diagnostic is doing something strange. Target acquired. What the hell does that mean? Peace has been scanned. You're cleared to leave. I'd leave right okay. away. Things are going crazy in this quarter. Thanks. 
And I'm like, all your guns just started to open fire on me, and like, you know, you did nothing. The shuttle is just ahead. I think we should get out of here fast. No more trips to White. Okay, great. Thanks, Mandor. Oh, boy. Unnecessary <laughs> observation. You are eliminating many of us Jedi, but such actions only delay the inevitable, annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communication. Oh yeah, it's definitely going to annoy. And bring about the termination of hostilities. Come on. You can load. Yes, you can. We're back. The shuttle is going to stay docked here until further notice. I'm not ready to part company yet. It sounds like you have a lot of traveling to do. So do I. I'm going with you. The Sith have taken a particular interest in you, and you could use an extra blaster. I've been meaning to leave Duxon to look for other Mandalorian clans anyway. <laughs> Oh, that sounds so altruistic, Mandalore. I didn't know you had. I didn't know you had it in you. I don't have it in me. It's a matter of self-interest. The Sith aren't known for sharing power. If the Jedi Order is destroyed for good, it's inevitable that the Sith will dominate the Republic, and then my people will be eradicated or enslaved. Helping your cause is a matter of necessity. Mandalorians helped Exar Kun during his war. We know firsthand how we fare in the service of their like. But that's enough for now. We'll have time to talk later. The Ebonhawk is patched up and ready to go. When you're ready to depart, we can ask the guide here to take us back to the ship. Sounds great, Atten. Kraya, go away. Theodore, come here. General, need something? Uh. Oh, wait, I haven't even talked to him, really. <laughs> yes, General. Do I have all the lightsaber parts I'll need? Let me see what you have. That's everything. Now all you need is a little quiet time with the workbench. Single bladed, but. Green, yeah, two greens. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, two lightsabers. And he, the second one's even a short one. Oh, that's awesome. Crystal Cyan. Interesting. 
I may change over one of the green ones to that cyan crystal. Guess I can't fight in the battle circle anymore. Oh well. Workbench. Okay. Short lightsaber. Cyan crystal. Be cool. One crystal. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Green and blue. So awesome. Checking the camp. Young Kex here got a battlefield promotion when his predecessor got slaughtered <laughs> by a bean splitter. Whatever this visitor needs, Kex, you make sure she has access to it, provided she can pay for it. Of course, Mandalore. Let me see what you have. I'm not gonna get Kex in trouble with Mandalore by bad mouthing him. Yeah, we'll take that thermal detonator. Take those grenades. We need that blaster for Mandalore. Hell yeah. So, one of those. I think Beodor can wear that. That's funny. Mandalorian assault rifle. Mandalore should be using nothing else. Yeah. Mouse is wigging out over here. There you go. You get a level up. Take another charisma, get that plus one at the very least. Let's 
go. Follow me. All right. Uh, there's a fight coming up. I think I'm going to save it for next time, though. Ship's empty, so ominous. Oh no, everyone's unconscious somehow. Spooky. Prepare to defend yourself, assassin. She's a Sith. All right, folks, I'm saving it right there, and I think I will continue next time. Thank you so much for watching Chris Boy's Grandpa Games. If indeed you have, like well, and subscribe, all that jazz. Uh, you guys have a great night. Catch you next time.